friends mathematics is an essential subject it helps in developing the logical skills and problem solving skills among our students so if we believe in active learning we must use variety of teaching strategies and methods to teach our students so i develop different games that helps in teaching the mathematical concept to students so let's dive into the details of these mathematical games called mathematical adventures so let's start with the magic board game so this is the magic board game this magic board can be used to teach various mathematical concept to our student so let's start with our first cut out this is the even number we can ask the student to put this cut out on the magic board and ask the student to read out the even numbers between 2 to 100 Our next cutout is of odd numbers. We can ask the student to put the cutout on the magic board, and student will be able to read all the odd numbers between one to ninety-nine. Further, there is another cutout of increasing order. We can put it anywhere and ask the student to read all the numbers in an increasing order, and further in a decreasing order. We can put it anywhere on the board, and. student will be able to tell the decreasing order and increasing order numbers again there is a 3 by 3 matrix we can put it anywhere on the box and ask the student to add these three numbers and add these three numbers student will be able to check their numbers the diagonals of these three numbers and these three numbers will be the same we can put it anywhere on the box and student will be able to uh, check their answers thus the diagonals will uh, will be the get the same answers Again, there is a two by two matrix. We can put it anywhere and ask the student to add these numbers and these two numbers, and student will be able to tell that the diagonals of the sum will be the equal. We can put it anywhere, and student get various uh, mathematical uh, addition questions, and they can check their answers themselves too. Further, there is a another cutout that helps in teaching the concept of successor and predecessor. We can ask the student to tell the uh, between and after and before numbers. we can put it anywhere this helps uh, in teaching uh, students uh, the concepts of successor and predecessor so let's roll the dice and break the ice so this tlm is used to assess various topic of mathematics when we want to assess student we can ask the student to play the ludo as they always play and as they move further we can increase the difficulty level of the question for example uh, here's a slip student get the number 29 we can open the uh, slips and student have to answer the question if he get the correct answer only then he can move further so if we want to assess any topic like addition subtraction division we can change the slips as per our need and student will be able to answer the question as per their levels this so this uh, tlm helps in developing the team spirit and cooperation among the student and when they win they'll feel happy So this is another game, a pizza fraction game. As you can see, there are different cutouts. Student can come and join these cutouts. The student who will complete the cutouts first and make the pizza will be the winner. Again, there is a I have who has game. Like I have three by four part of the fraction. Who has three by six? The student who have three by six will raise their hands and said, I have three by six part of the fraction. Who has six by eight? So in this way, the game will be continued, and student will be able to learn the fraction in a fun and engaging way.